Today I'm going to be explaining how heroes work in puzzles and survival. Everything from how to get them, how to level them up, to the different types of skills they have and how they all work. But before we get into the video though, I'd like to thank the sponsors of today's video, Puzzles and Survival and Amazon Coins. Puzzles and Survival is a free to play strategy game with a zombie apocalypse theme. Not only is it a strategy game, it's also a match 3 game in which you can match shapes and colors while in battle to do powerful attacks. With this game, you'll no longer have any idle wait times for strategy games since you always have its match 3 puzzles to kill zombies. It's an amazing game overall that I would definitely recommend checking out. Okay, now let's talk about Amazon Coins. There will be a link in the description below and by using that link you'll be able to get the discounts that I'm going to be talking about right now. Amazon coins are available on Android devices in the following countries. By using them you'll be able to save up to 20% on in-app purchases for puzzles and survival as well as for other games that are available on the Amazon App Store. Once you click my link below, you'll be taken to this webpage from where you'll be able to buy 10,000 Amazon coins worth $100 for just $82 which is an 18% discount. However, you can get up to a 20% discount by clicking on the Discover All Amazon Coins Packs button and buying 50,000 Amazon coins for $400 or you can also buy smaller quantities for lower discounts. To start using Amazon Coins, you simply need to follow the instructions on the web page, download the Amazon App Store and download the game from there and you'll be able to start using Amazon Coins immediately. If you're from the US, you can also download the Amazon App Store on Windows 11, which means you'll be able to play the game on PC too. Okay, now let's get back to the topic of the video. First, let's talk about how you can get heroes in this game. While there are a lot of different events that can give you hero fragments, the most common way of getting them is through the Noah's Tavern. There are three different types of recruitments that you can perform. Basic recruits give you 2-3 to three star heroes, intermediate recruits give you 2-4 to four star heroes, and advanced recruits give you 3-5 to five star heroes. Usually the best way to recruit heroes is to do them 9 at a time so that you get an extra recruit for free. It's also better to save them for the hero recruitment event so that you get points for doing so as well as extra rewards from the event. The thing that I like about this game is that unlike most other games of this type where it's extremely difficult to get 5 star heroes, it's actually a lot easier to get them in this game because you can get a ton of advanced recruitment tokens from different events. Apart from these tokens, you can also use choice cards to get heroes in this game. These cards can also be obtained from events. There are a few different types of these cards, 4 star cards, 5 star cards and epic cards. Each type gives different heroes. These cards are much better than regular tokens as they not only guarantee the star level of the heroes that you get from them, but they also let you pick which heroes you want to get from them. Again, I'd recommend saving your 4 and 5 star cards for hero events since they give you points. However, there's no need to save your epic cards as you don't get any points from them. There's also the bag where you can recycle hero fragments to get Noah points which can then be used to purchase other heroes. For every 5 hero fragments that you recycle, you're able to get 1 hero fragment of the same star level. So I'd recommend recycling your fragments only after you max out your heroes. Finally, if you want to spend money on this game, then another way of getting them is by buying them directly from the mall. Okay, so now that we've covered how you can get heroes, let's talk about upgrading heroes. There are three different ways that you can upgrade your heroes. There's the regular upgrade which requires anti-serum. There's evolution which requires combat manuals and finally there's enhancements which require hero fragments. Regular upgrades increase your hero's base stats that is attack, defense and HP. These stats are useful for the match 3 puzzles because attack determines how much damage your heroes do with their tiles and skills while defense and HP determine how long they last in battle. Upgrade, the upgrade cost keeps going up almost exponentially which is why it's very easy to upgrade them initially but it gets really difficult at higher levels because you need a ton of anti-serum. The other way to upgrade your heroes is by evolving them. Evolution not only increases your hero's attack, defense and HP 
but it also increases the max level that you can upgrade them to. For example, by evolving my hero in this case, I can increase their max level from 310 to 350. However, in order to evolve them, I need to get them to level 310 first, then I need to get a bunch of these books called combat manuals which I can get from the campaign mode. Once I get them all, I can then evolve this hero which will not only increase its attack defense and HP, but will also upgrade and or unlock new skills for them which means that evolving your hero is much better than just upgrading them. Finally, the last way of upgrading your heroes is to enhance them using hero fragments. This again is a very effective way of upgrading them as it buffs both their attack defense and HP as well as their skills. The only problem is that the upgrade cost goes up pretty quickly. For example, to get a hero to plus 1, you only need 10 fragments. But to get them from plus 4 to plus 5, you need 75. Also, the max level of 2, 3, and 4 star heroes is plus 5, but for the 5 star ones, they go all the way up to plus 8, which means they're way more expensive to max out. It probably costs over 900 fragments to max out a 5 star hero, since you can get about 940 E fragments from the ruins. The best part about upgrading heroes is that you can actually reset your heroes and get back all the anti-serum combat manuals and fragments spent on them by spending 150 diamonds if you don't want to continue using a particular hero. To do this, you simply click on the reset button at the top right of the screen on the hero page. This means you don't really need to worry about upgrading the wrong hero as you can always reset them. So that is about upgrading, evolving, and enhancing heroes. Another way to make your hero stronger is through skins and nano weapons. If you click on the armor button beside your heroes, you'll be able to check the skins that they have, if any. To get these skins, you need a certain amount of hero skin fragments, which when unlocked will boost your hero's base stats, as well as give you some extra troop stats. Some of these skins are regular skins, which means they can be obtained via hero skin fragments, while others are limited time skins, which means they can only be obtained during special collaboration events. Most of these limited time skins require you to spend money to get, but the regular skins can be obtained for free if you grind for long enough. You can also unlock nano weapons for your heroes once you get your heroes to level 211. These are special weapons that you can equip on your heroes to make them stronger. You can start making these weapons once you have a level 20 gear factory. There are 5 different rarities from common all the way up to apex. You can either use the normal craft to make random weapons or you can use the exclusive craft to make a specific one. The probabilities are also slightly better on the exclusive craft. The weapons that you get can also be dismantled to get back weapon enhancing materials which you can use to enhance your weapons and scrap which you can use at the shop to buy better weapons. The shop can be accessed by tapping on the crate at the top right. Keep in mind that scrap is different from the materials that you get from the gear factory even though they look almost the same. Giving your heroes weapons will give you hero stats as well as troop stats and if it's their special weapon, then they'll also get some bonus stats. Okay, so that was all about heroes. Now let's take a look at their skills. There are two different types of skills that they have, troop skills and hero skills. Hero skills are the skills that only work in the campaign mode, while troop skills work outside the campaign mode. There are two subtypes for troop skills, active skills and passive skills. Active skills are the skills that only work when your hero is sent in battle, while passive skills work even when they're not in battle. You can find out whether a skill is active or passive just by tapping on it. If the skill says takes effect when hero joins rally battle, then it is an active skill which means it applies whenever your hero is sent to any battle. But if it says own the hero to activate this effect, then it means that the skill is passive. My recommendation would be to unlock as many passive skills as you can to get permanent buffs while using heroes that only have active skills for battle. The game classifies heroes into economy and military type, 
However, this classification can be quite misleading because there are heroes like Scarlet and Leah who increase troop size, however the game considers their skills economy skills and not military skills. The troop skills can be upgraded by enhancing your heroes and also by evolving them to 6 stars. You can find the effect of enhancement by clicking on the skill, the same way you can check whether it's active or passive. Finally, let's talk about hero skills. Hero skills are skills that only work during the match 3 battles, for example the campaign mode and the arena. As explained earlier, hero skills can be unlocked via evolution, however these skills cannot be upgraded. It's also much easier to unlock hero skills as you only need to get them to level 71 to unlock all of their skills. The first skill that you see is the skill that requires Rage to cast while all the other skills either boost your first skill or give you buffs or your enemy debuffs. It's also very good to take a few minutes to read what your hero skills do so that you can use their skills more effectively. For example, Mars depletes 25% of the target's rage, so it's good to use his skill on enemies that have a rage bar that's almost full for maximum effect. He also increases the heal rate of adjacent allies by 20%, so if your allies have low HP, you might want to use Mars skill before you use a healing skill. Finally, let's talk about which heroes you should be using in battle. There are 5 different colors of heroes, there's red, green, blue, yellow, and purple. Red counters green, green counters blue, and blue counters red, just like rock, paper, scissors. And then yellow and purple counter each other. In my opinion, it's best to have one hero from each color in your team, so that way your team is balanced and can deal with all types of enemies. Make sure you're using all 5 star heroes in your team since there's a cap on lower level heroes. For example, 4 star heroes can only go up to level 210, while 5 stars can go up to level 400. You'd also want to have one healer in your team so that you can recover HP whenever your heroes are low. For example, Fox in my team is a healer that also dispels debuffs with her skill. You also want to make sure that the heroes that you're using have active troop skills and not passive skills so that you're getting the most from them. The 5 heroes that I use, Fox, Requiem, Marlow, Mars, and Myers are all heroes that have active troop skills. It's even better if you can get all of them to buff a specific troop type like riders, shooters, or fighters so that you can use those troops in your march to deal the most damage. So that's pretty much all there is to heroes. If there's anything that I missed then be sure to leave a comment down below. Also make sure you check out the sponsor of this video Amazon Coins to save up to 20% on in-app purchases. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see y'all in the next one.